Hi and welcome to Sci-Fi Fans, I'm your host Wayne and I'd like to talk to you about the Hobbit movies and I'm going to start off with this video all about an unexpected journey. Now it's no surprise after the phenomenal success that New Line Pictures wanted to make The Hobbit into a film as, as I said they had phenomenal success with The Lord of the Rings and it took a while to get Peter Jackson on board but he came on board and we had three films. Now I'm not going to say that they're great, they're the best films ever because when you put them up against the original Lord of the Rings trilogy there is a gulf of difference between the two and I think part of the problem with that was the fact that The Hobbit is such a small book and it was only really if they were going to convert it into a film there's only really enough content there for one film. However Peter Jackson has a knack and understanding of J.R.R. Tolkien and he developed three okay films. They're okay but I think the good thing about these films is that you can watch them and then immediately afterwards you can go and watch the masterpieces that is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So I'm not going to waffle any longer, I've done that already. And here are my top trivia points from Lord of the Rings An Unexpected Journey. The Hobbit movie An Unexpected Journey was released in the same year that the book The Hobbit was celebrating its 75th anniversary since publication. It's not uncommon in prequels to have characters reprising their roles from the original series of films. You've only got to look at the MCU and Star Wars to a degree, how they've tried to incorporate up-to-date characters in older movies, well, movie set previously. Now, they did try this with Viggo Mortensen in The Hobbit. They asked him to reprise his role for Aragon for some scenes and some of the storylines. Fortunately for us, and I do think it's fortunate for us, Viggo Mortensen declined the offer to reprise his role of Aragorn because the character of Aragorn does not actually feature in The Hobbit. However, the character is later referenced in The Battle of the Five Armies and I believe it's the scene near the end of the uh, film where Legolas is actually sent off to track down a, um, it's not a marauder, it's an outsider, a, like a huntsman, <laughs> I've forgotten the uh, the terminology, but he's actually sent out to track down Aragorn and befriend him for the future events that would later be seen in The Lord of the Rings. So there you go, Viggo Mortensen turned down a cameo appearance for The Hobbit. One actress who did return from the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy was that of Kate Blanchett. She reprised her role of Glandriel, which is kind of fitting because she is an elf and elves don't age and they're kind of like an immortal species but did you realize that although she featured a small part in all three of the Hobbit films she was only on set and filmed all of the parts that she needed to in eight days so not bad for a week's worth of work or just over a week. Fan favorite Orlando Bloom unfortunately for the uh, Hobbit and an unexpected journey would miss out on this one. His character does not feature in this film and this is the only Lord of the Rings related movie that um, Orlando Bloom does not appear in as Legolas unfortunately. Traditionally prequels don't normally perform as well as the original series that they were a prequel to. However The Hobbit An Unexpected Journey outperformed both The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers at the global box office grossing more money than those two films did. The Hobbit essentially is all about how the ring, the One Ring, comes into Bilbo Baggins' possession and naturally enough we're introduced to the character Gollum, although we already know of Gollum from the previous set of films. His catchphrase though that he says about my precious is muttered 12 times in The Hobbit. And that's it for this edition of Sci-Fi Fans, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, if you have, then please do subscribe and don't forget to smash that like button and notifications. YouTube's doing some funny things with the algorithm and us small YouTubers aren't really getting a lot of headway with our views. Now, that might be for various reasons, not just YouTube. I'll leave you to leave a comment in the box below and tell me why you think that is. Thanks again for watching and uh, don't forget to come back for some more movie trivia and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.